All right, after hiking down, we're now on our way to our second volcano we're about to climb, Sierra Negro. When we got there, some of us paid the locals to carry up our boards, and some of us carried them ourselves. This volcano was a lot steeper than Talika, but a much shorter hike. The views were so stunning. It really felt like I was in a Jurassic Park movie. This volcano was super tall, and it was also active as well, but you would have never known unless you stuck your hands in the dirt and you felt the tremendous heat coming from it. In these photographs here, this is the halfway point up the volcano. After our little break, we began to climb higher, and this is the actual mouth of the volcano. Finally reaching the top, we came across a few other people that were also going to be sliding down the volcano. I observed them a little bit before my group decided to get a closer look at the mouth of the volcano. At this point, I was a nervous wreck to go down this volcano, but I feel like the bonds and the friendships I made with all of these people around me really helped to relax and encourage me in the best ways possible. Here is our high school musical moment, and here is an even closer view of the mouth of the volcano. I was far too nervous to go take one of these pictures myself. Here we are at the base of the volcano, and here we are ready to ride. We wore denim jumpsuits in case we fell off our sandboards, and they did teach us how to slow down and how to speed up. What you're looking at is the bottom half of the volcano. This is the top half. We were so high up, we couldn't even see the bottom half of the volcano. And that's what made me so nervous. But I did it. There I am, shredding it. You know, it's... It was one of the scariest things I've ever done, just because I couldn't see the outcome. But, you know, I it was so awesome and amazing, you know. It was a once-in-a-lifetime experience. And if I hadn't pushed through the fear, I wouldn't have done it. Here's a couple of my friends sandboarding down the volcano as well. But now I can say I've sandboarded down an active volcano. After this, we got lunch. And all my friends laughed at me because I asked if there was a gift shop at the volcano. But when we got to where we were eating lunch, yes, there was a gift shop. A very small and limited gift shop, but there was a gift shop. When we got down to the base of the volcano, we changed out of our jumpsuits and walked back to our bus, where we made the journey to our hotel. This was our best western, and it was pretty emotional, you know, having to say goodbye to all my new friends, knowing that it'll be a long time till we see each other again. But don't worry, we all kept in contact. Here I am in the airport. I found this hidden Coca-Cola sleep lounge tucked behind an escalator near the sea gates in Dallas. And I'll see you guys with the next adventure.